Sixers Internet, hello, happy Wednesday. So glad you're here. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, we're going to Lucia's for some Italian deli sandwiches. So very, very excited, if I already said that, I might have, that you're here. And don't forget, guys, we just dropped our uh, winter collection for our new gear um, this week to everyone. Everyone can go ahead and go to our Number Six with Cheese website and snag up our new gear, sweatshirts, water bottles, we got cell phone cases, coffee mugs, all kinds of cool stuff. Go check it out on the website. All right, time to eat, time to review. Let's do it. We're at work right now. All right, guys, two different sandwiches. We'll show them to you in that bag from Lucia's acquired jump cut. Alrighty, uh, it's about that time for the notorious Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got. This is a big boy. Oh my God. Whoa. Cool. Okay, so you're seeing a lot of cheese on there right away. It's gotta be Mott's. And then there's those meatballs. It looks like there's some we asked for the spicy pepper, so there's some green peppers like in there. You can see some of the seeds, but there's so much cheese, it's kind of hard to get a visual on it. That looks, this looks good. Holy looks manageable. Holy smokes, yeah. Looks like they use nice homemade bread. Yeah. We'll see. Damn, that looks good. I am such a sucker for a chicken parm sandwich. I, they're one of my favorite things. I don't get them nearly enough, but man, do I love them. I'll try to show you guys mine. Mm. So just as kind of cheesy it looks like and great bread, but on this instead of uh, meatballs, it's like a breaded chicken cutlet, and then I got spicy peppers as well. Those jardinier, you can see just carrot sticks on there. But uh, yeah, that's mine, and uh, I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, uh, Lucia's, we're parked right outside, so we're almost dining in, dude. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my God. There we go. Mm-hmm. This is finally a good meatball Sam. I'm so glad. Mmm, ten past the market is great, and now Lucia's is great. This is good. Whoa. I, go, what's yours taste like? Cause I got a lot to say. I want to hear yours. Mine's good, but I you're way more into it. So. I'm obsessed with this bread. Okay. It's easy to bite through. It's thick enough to hold everything, but it doesn't get in the way. It kind of like smashes down real well. It's not like dense. Yeah. And then the flavor of this is really good. Tons of mats, a little bit of sauce, great meat, super tender. It's like got a salty flavor to it. Ooh. So far, this is amazing. I've only one bite in, but yeah. I mean, so. I know that we have no culinary oh, background, oh. but that was beautiful <laughs> can I just say that makes me you you if I were these people and I lived in Chicago that would make me go come here they should bro. I'm not kidding and it's called the Robert not the meatball sub just so there's no confusion yeah there's a six and a niner you went niner mm. okay nine mm. I love when the chicken look how thin but it's crispy like smashed I want it like cutlet style if you're not smashing your chicken parm then you're an idiot right so you have to for chicken parm this house made red sauce is perfect. There's not a single thing wrong with it. It's salty, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's tangy. And yeah. then this bread, mine seems a, like a little bit softer. Like mm -hmm. yours is a little more like toasty. Yep. Um, that's probably how it's prepared that way. But look at this, it's staying together. It's not too sloppy where it's all falling apart. Like it's great when like, people give you a lot of stuff for the price, like tons of sauce. But I don't want it where it's gonna ruin the sandwich. No, you remember a little meatball it. with right, the meatball yeah, subs? Right. Dude, this is fantastic. Like absolutely fantastic. This is right up at the top of my list of favorite meatballs in the, in the city. This is really good. We got a big winner today. Mm -hmm. I want they give us a couple bags of Lay's potato chips too. A little side. I'm gonna throw these on my sandwich. Oh my God. I haven't put chips on a sandwich in a while and it's calling my name. This would be perfect for it. I'm blown away by this. I'm very pleased, especially how many freaking times <laughs> I've got trash meatball, man. Yeah, absolutely. You got boned hard by the meatball sub community in Chicago, and mm -hmm. Lucius goes, hold, hold my beer. All right, the, the crunch on a sandwich like this is, is just divine. Mm -hmm. I've been so impressed by this. Oh my God. This is 10 bucks, this is a huge, I got the nine inch and it feels bigger, but this is only, this is 10 bucks. It's not a bad price in my head. Yeah. The salty chips made it even better because it needed like a little more salt and that like, and then the te texture of that. Mm -hmm. um, man, this is just like, I can't get over how good this is. And I've driven by this place, we've driven by this place together so many times. I've seen the green awning and just never really popped in here. 
Wow. Never really heard too many people talk about it. What made you pick this place? Was it on a list or anything? Mm -hmm. I, uh, someone asked on Reddit what the best meatball sub in the city was, and this kept popping up. Oh, wow. And I was like, all right, well, um, you know me, I'm on a mission to find the best meatball sub. That hot sandwich menu, this was hard to pick this. There was one called like, what was it, like, the best beef sandwich mm. <laughs> with no, whatever it was, that, the ribeye. Yeah, the steak. Yeah, that's not, that was gonna be my second choice. I just haven't had a good chicken parm in a while, and this is, I'm glad I did this, but that was so hard to pick one sandwich. I wanted that. I bet their Italian beef's great. This is unbelievable. Oh my God. There's nothing like a really good Italian deli. And they were super cool and nice. You guys missed the whole phone call of us like ordering these and being like, yeah, hey, we want the spicy peppers and the, the lady like joking with, ah, that's gonna roast your stomachs. Yeah. I am wildly impressed. I can't believe you're eating the whole time. I mean, I can, but. Nine man. inches of heaven. <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> I just thought of a weird joke of a priest saying, I can give you nine inches to get you into heaven. That's what they used to do back in the uh, Catholic school system. That makes me sad because that's accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, climbing the stairway to heaven was really just climbing his Jacob's ladder. <laughs> I'm gonna save the rest of that. You know what I wanna do, the other half of that? It has nothing to do with me putting my three incher in it. Um, I wanna air fry that sandwich. Mm -hmm. I, wanna take, I wanna take it home, pop it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, air fry it for like two to three minutes to get that bread crispy. And I'll check back in with you guys next week <laughs> and let you know. Dude, great pick, man. This Lucia's thing was uh, a top-notch choice. That's why I love Reddit. Yeah, seriously. I love a good marinara sauce, too, like that. Like that red sauce. Yeah, it was good. They didn't overdo it. Or it was all too messy. No, not at all. Perfect amount. Oh, wow. I'm in heaven. Well, make sure they like the video, huh? Please if do. If you're not liking this, dude, I mean, we really need some good likes on this. Yeah. You guys have seen the pain and turmoil I've gone through, yeah. hunting down these meatball subs, just getting disappointed time and time again. I finally stumbled upon a great one. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Yeah, like the video, uh, new videos Monday through Thursday for free, and then paid ones on Friday if you're part of that. Uh, what should the folks comment here today as we're talking sandwiches and deliciousness? Uh, what's the happiest moment of your life, I guess? I don't what know. is the happiest moment of your life? I like that. Finally found pleasure. Yeah, it doesn't have to be about food, just the straight up happiest moment of your life. So this is this yours? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. This number one, my wedding day number two. Mm, awesome. Mine was watching my brother win the championship in wrestling. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, uh, out of five, Lucia, I don't, how about out of five Lucille balls? Okay. How many Lucille balls do you give the nine inch meatball sub, the Robert, from Lucia's here in Chicago, Corey. That was absolutely amazing in my opinion. I think $10 is the exact right price for that. I think they could even charge a little bit more with the size of that thing. And you can get it a little bit cheaper if you wanna go for the six incher. And I might suggest doing that because that was a lot to take down. The texture was unbelievable. The bread didn't get in the way, but it was thick enough to hold everything together. It wasn't too messy. The meatballs were tender. The cheese was great. All the ingredients were perfect. Um, I expected the spicy peppers to be a little bit spicier, mm -hmm. but yeah. I didn't even care because everything was so delicious and I was so happy to finally find a good meatball sub that I just brushed right past that. I'm giving that a five. That's amazing. That chicken parm sandwich was absolutely incredible. The only points I'm taking off, I didn't really talk about it in the episode, the chick, the breading on the chicken kind of was like, it could have been a little crispier. crispier and that's a big part of parm. Yeah. Part. That's like the thing for me with I chicken know. parm sandwiches. It was, uh, I don't want to insult him and say it was almost like the cafeteria style chicken like quality because it was a great chicken. It was so tasty. But to get a perfect score, you got everything it. has yeah. to be perfect. That was, I'll give, I'm going to take 0.25 off. Yeah, that's fair. So I'm going to go 475. Okay, that's right I woke up today not knowing that we were going here and I'm going to bed tonight so pleasured by a meal. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a great Wednesday. So um, it's a weird thing to say to a camera. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, another local Chicago spot. Wednesdays and Thursdays, we always do that. So come on back, support the show. Don't forget backpack, sweatshirt, phone cases, water bottle, and coffee mugs. All now available to everybody to support the show. Wear number six with cheese around in your life and let everybody know how amazing the show is or how much you don't like it. But it'd be weird if you bought some merch. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.